The 2017 NBA free agency is only a couple of days away. We've seen the offseason already start off so crazy and hectic. Jimmy Butler to the Timberwolves. Dwight Howard, he's a part of the Charlotte Hornets. D'Angelo Russell traded to the Nets. Boston traded away the first overall pick for the third overall pick. The offseason has already been crazy. And now, free agency? Well, it's going to be insane. But before I start with the video, let me give a massive shout out to SeatGeek. Now you've obviously heard of SeatGeek before, but if you haven't, SeatGeek is an app that aggregates tickets from all over the web to make buying tickets easy. They put a 1 to 100 score on each ticket to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad deal. The green is a good deal, the red is a bad deal. And the awesome part about it is when you click on a deal that you enjoy, you can actually click on that deal and look at the view from where you'll be sitting. And so thanks to SeatGeek, you can enter the promo code NICKSMITH, all in capitals, for $20 back on your first order. So definitely download the app by clicking the link below, and let's get on with the video. There are a few guys I want to talk about in this video, and we're going to go down a list. So the first guy, it's the most obvious guy, and we're going to go from top to bottom. Kevin Durant. Well, I think it's pretty obvious what this man is going to do. Definitely, he's going to reach time with the Golden State Warriors, one of the most gifted offensive players in NBA history. He will be a warrior for many, many years, trying to win as many championships as he can. The main reason he came down to the Warriors to win championships. And his partner in crime, Stephen Curry, he won another NBA title. And, I mean, he developed awesome chemistry with Kevin Durant. He's going to be a warrior. He's going to earn his max money this season in the offseason. I already talked about the Warriors. If you want to watch the video, I'll put a link in the description. What is next for the Golden State Warriors? That's the title of the video, so you guys can check it out. But this is the first guy, really. Gordon Hayward. He becomes an unrestricted free agent in the middle of his prime years. Gordon Hayward, 6'8", from Utah, averages about 22 points per game, 5.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists. The man, well, he's really good. I will give him that. He's really, really good. He's probably a lot more gifted on the offensive side of things than defense, but he can do some things on defense. And surprisingly, the man is really, really athletic for, yeah, I'll say it, a white guy. <laughs> but I think there are two main teams that are going to go after him. The most obvious is the Boston Celtics, and I think we all know that. Boston really needs a superstar like Gordon Hayward to pair up with Isaiah Thomas, Al Horford, and the rest of the crew. And they did miss out on Jimmy Butler, and Jimmy Butler was the guy that I think they were mostly targeting. So now in free agency, well, they're trying to pair up Paul George and Gordon Hayward. And if you didn't know about that, you can look it up yourself. They are really, really pushing hard to try and trade for Paul George and acquire Gordon Hayward in free agency and create a super team to, well, beat the Cleveland Cavaliers in the East and try and challenge the Warriors in the West. Now, Gordon Hayward to the Celtics, do I see it happening? I mean... Well, they'll throw him as much money as they can, so that's one incentive. Boston, well, who really doesn't want to play in Boston? Boston seems like an awesome place to play, and I mean, playing in the garden, that's pretty cool. So that's another incentive, and just to play in the East, another incentive, since Gordon Hayward's always been a part of the West, and well, the West, I mean, you know how stacked the West is. So there are a lot of pros to playing in Boston, right? And... The Celtics, they've already tried to recruit him. Isaiah Thomas, he's followed Gordon Hayward. Well, I mean, Isaiah Thomas, the dude follows everyone, Blake Griffin and everyone. So to, to see Gordon Hayward go to the Celtics, it would be interesting. They definitely, I think, are a best fit in the NBA. I think they are the best fit in the NBA compared to all the teams. Um, but yeah, I don't know if he really wants to play there. The thing is, another, this is one more thing. Brad Stevens coached Gordon Hayward in college, so that is probably the main thing I think for Boston that they have on their side is Brad Stevens, he is an amazing coach, so I do I do think that Gordon Hayward and Brad Stevens have that chemistry and that could be another incentive, but another team, surprisingly, the Miami Heat. Now, I'm a Heat fan, and you, if you follow my Twitter, by the way, follow my Twitter, everybody, go down below, follow my Twitter, come back to the video, I need my followers, I mean, I've got like 6,000 followers and 200 subs on YouTube, 200,000 subs on YouTube, what the hell is that, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but for real, I'm a Heat fan, and I'm, I don't know how the Heat are in the mix for Gordon Hayward, I get that we got Pat Riley, alright, I get that, Pat Riley, he is a beast GM, if anybody can sign a good player out of the blue, Pat Riley can do it. But hypothetically, if the Heat landed Gordon Hayward with a salary of $31 million next season, that would leave Miami with $7 million to nearly $9 million in space. And, I mean, when you think about that, that's pretty good. You've got Hassan Whiteside, then you've got, 
another point guard in Goran Dragic. You got a young guy in Justice Winslow. He can play the two. Even Josh Richardson, he's developing into a decent player, a great defender. So then you just need a four. We got we drafted Bam out of Bale. I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm hyped right now. I'm talking about the Heat, but do I think the Heat are going to get Gordon Hayward? I don't know. I mean, there has been a lot of talk about Gordon Hayward going to the Miami Heat. He does have family in South Beach, and obviously South Beach is another place that players want to play in. I mean, who doesn't want to play in a sunny place like Miami? So I do think Gordon Hayward could end up here, but I think easily the most likely option is either the Boston Celtics or it's just staying in Utah, man. Utah, when you think about Utah... They've done really well. They got the 13th overall pick. They've got Rudy Gobert, a young guy that's developing into one of the best centers in the NBA. Gordon Hayward, they can offer him max money down there and he can get paid. So I do think that the Utah Jazz can still, you know, sign somebody like Gordon Hayward because, well, a lot of people don't want him to leave. So I think it's going to come down to Gordon Hayward either going to Boston or staying in Utah. But the next guy, Blake Griffin? Well, that is interesting because Blake Griffin, I do not think that the Clippers are going to re-sign Chris Paul, Blake Griffin. I do think they will look to uh, trade DeAndre Jordan. And if you guys want to watch what I talk about the Clippers, you can go to my latest video about um, Jerry West and how he just signed with the Clippers. So that's interesting. But I don't think they're going to re-sign players because... Well, I think they're just going to want to leave. With the Clippers championship window closing, I think Blake Griffin will look to go to a, another place. And LA, well, that is an interesting place. because the, the Clippers, yeah, they are part of the LA area, but they haven't had success like the Lakers had. In, although in recent years, yeah, they've had more success, but technically neither team has won a championship. So when you look at it that way, neither team has really been that successful. Okay. That's what I'm trying to get at. But Blake Griffin, I think he will go to a big market team. And there are a few options for Blake Griffin. The most likely option is the Boston Celtics, but I'm not going to really get into it. You you guys know why. Similar situation to Gordon Hayward. Just an, a big name player. They need a guy like him. He fits in with the system. The Celtics just need a power forward or a small forward. So any power forward or small forward that they can get, that's who they want to get. But I don't think he is as likely to go to the Celtics as Gordon Hayward. Another team, surprisingly, the New York Knicks. Now, Blake Griffin came out and listed New York, which he said his favorite city to visit and praised Madison Square Garden's atmosphere. So that is really, really interesting. He also named Phoenix and Toronto as his other three cities, and Boston was the fourth city he named, which is really, really interesting because New York, I mean, pairing him up with, you know... Chris Dutz, Paul Zingas. Paul Zingas can play the five. Blake Griffin can play the four. If they somehow keep Melo, he can play the three. I mean, I don't know if they can go far, but it'd be interesting to see. They will have to do some trades to lower their cap space and try and get rid of the bum-ass Joe Kim Noah. For real, he sucks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway. Phoenix, that would be interesting with a young core of Devin Booker. I mean, De even Eric Bledsoe, he's, he's, not that, um, he's not that young. So, they could go for, on a... I guess a playoff run. See, they're in the West as well, which makes it hard because, well, you got Golden State in your conference, which makes it really, really hard. Toronto, that is interesting. Imagine that. Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Blake Griffin. Woo! That's, that, that'd be nice. And then Boston, we already talked about Boston. On to the next player. This guy, I mean, it will be really, really interesting to see where he goes. And there, we'll talk about both players. Two point guards, Chris Paul, Kyle Lowry. Now, both point guards, I would love to see play in a San Antonio Spurs jersey. How sick would that be? Obviously, not at the same time, but one of them, I hope, signs with San Antonio. I would love for Chris Paul to sign with San Antonio. He's the guy I think they need to go after for sure, for sure. Kawhi Leonard, LaMarcus Aldridge, Chris Paul, big three would be awesome. Under Greg Popovich as well, I would love that. But I don't think it's as... I mean, it's a strong possibility. It's stronger than Kyle Lowry go to San Antonio. But another team, surprisingly as well, the Rockets, they have a lot of work to do in terms of clearing up cap space. But James Harden has been advocating really, really hard in favor of Chris Paul to go from LA to Houston. And Chris Paul playing along with James Harden would be interesting. The thing is, James Harden played a lot of point guard this year. And Chris Paul, obviously, well... I guess James Harden probably doesn't want to play point guard again. So he really wants Chris Paul to play in Houston. And they have been trying to get him. Well, James Harden has. He's already spoken to Chris Paul. 
so that's pretty crazy. But I think the Spurs are attempting to create a lot of salary cap flexibility to uh, get Chris Paul this summer. And also Andre Iguodal, which that would be very, very interesting to see where Iggy goes because he could be offered a lot of money to go to other teams. And Golden State, yeah, I mean, Iggy's won his two championships. He's a finals MVP. He may want to go to a different team, get some more money and live out the rest of his career trying to compete for another championship with another team. And with the Spurs... That would be interesting, man. Imagine that. Let's just go through that team. If they can somehow piece it all together. Chris Paul, Andre Iguodala, Kawhi Leonard, LaMarcus Aldridge. And then they can sign a five. Anyone, really. And playing under Greg Popovich. That's what I think the San Antonio Spurs need to do going into next season to compete for a championship and face off against the Golden State Warriors. But the other guy, Kyle Lowry. Now, Kyle Lowry, if the Spurs can't go after Chris Paul, I think that... Kyle Lowry really should look to go to the Spurs. I think he's a nice fit. If he can't go to the Spurs, the Timbles would be really, really interesting. I mean, imagine that. Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, Andrew Wiggins, Kyle Anthony Towns, Gorgie Jeng. I mean, that team is nice. They're also in the West. Every team is in the West, which is crazy. But um, yeah, I do think Kyle Lowry um, should go to the Spurs if that is a possibility. But I also think that, I think he should just stay in Toronto. I think Toronto could really go after a guy, and this is going off into another player in free agency, Paul Millsap. I think there is a very, very strong possibility that the Raptors will be able to sign Paul Millsap. I do think that Kyle Lowry has a very strong possibility to stay in the East and in Toronto. And I think that could be really interesting. And Houston also is going after Kyle Lowry, but... I just can't see him going back to Houston because Houston's already had him and I just can't see him playing for Houston again for some reason. I don't know why, but I just can't see it. Now, obviously, there are plenty and plenty and plenty of free agents going into this free agency and I can't go through all of them in this video, but the last guy I want to talk about, this man, I want to see him succeed so bad. I want to win. I want to see him win a championship. I want him to be healthy. You know the guy, D. Rose, Derek Rose. I just want, I just want all the, I wish all the best for him. I don't want him, I wish all the best for him. I'm going to pray. I'm going to start, I don't even pray, but I'm going to start praying for Derrick Rose. I just hope his knees stay right. I hope he stays healthy. I want to see him join the San Antonio Spurs. And I know, I've, I know I've said a lot of teams to go to San Antonio, but he's the main guy I want to see go to San Antonio. And obviously not if Chris Paul goes, not if Kyle Lowry goes. I think if you're the Spurs, you want to go after Chris Paul. You want to go after Kyle Lowry. You want to go after the top point guards, right? But if you can't get them, let's say you can't get Chris Paul. You can't get Kyle Lowry. Derrick Rose needs to go to the San Antonio Spurs. With that being said, if you want to know why, I want to, I, I'm going to make a video about why I think Derrick Rose needs to go to the San Antonio Spurs. So if you're excited for that video, don't forget to drop a like on this one. Let's aim for 4,000 likes. Subscribe if you're new. You guys have been going ham with the subscribe button. I love all you guys for that. I thank you guys so much. And yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm uploading NBA videos, trying to go every day, every two days or every three days. That's the plan. And going into summer, I'll try and upload heaps of videos for you guys. And yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Go check out SeatGeek, $20 back. That's awesome. Use my code, NickSmith, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. I'm out. Peace.